Dominican Friars in Rwanda. Meditation on Tuesday of the second week of Easter. The community of believers was of one heart and mind. Dear brothers and sisters, praise be to Jesus forever. Hallelujah. On this Tuesday of the second week of Easter, we read a passage from the Acts of the Apostles which tells us how the first communities born from the proclamation of the resurrection lived. The members of these communities had one heart and mind. This unity of hearts and minds was concretely realized through three actions. Having everything in common, bearing witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and taking charge of each member according to his needs. Let's see what each action consisted of. In order to have everything in common, some believers sold their properties and brought the proceeds of the sale to the community. This renunciation of private property made believers freer for the mission and more united with one another. Yes, unity is strength, even in matters of evangelization. In the current context, where individualism is becoming very pronounced, the world needs more than ever brave men and women who put their goods, skills, and lives together in the service of the proclamation of good news. Of course, many already do, but the work is still immense. As for the proclamation of the Lord's resurrection, it is said that great favor was accorded to all the apostles. This unity of the apostles in preaching strengthened the unity of the whole community. Thus, they were not only a living proof of God's love for his chosen, but also a good example of fraternal life. Thus, this witness of brotherhood of the apostles reminds us that the leaders of families, those of communities, and those of society should let themselves be inspired by God and then guide others by the good example of brotherhood and commitment. Finally, taking charge of each member according to his needs shows that the communities were making a real effort to allow everyone to have his place in the community and to play well his role. Thus, we are encouraged to do everything possible to ensure that, in our diverse communities, each member finds his place and obtains all that is necessary for him to play his role in the community. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you wanted your disciples to be one in your love. Give us the grace to live a true brotherhood in our communities and the courage to proclaim your gospel. For you live and reign forever and ever. Amen.